Election day, April 1st, uh, most of the world was paying attention to what was going on in Rangoon. Uh, Aung San Suu Kyi and the National League for Democracy were on their way to an historic victory. Nations around the world are rushing to reward the Burmese government by lifting sanctions. But here in Kachin State, the Burmese government does not want you to hear about the stories that we've heard, nor see what we've seen. This is a road that connects many villages. Behind me, holes made from shrapnel that were created by mortar fire. The threat of more and more violence is part of the reality uh, of their lives, a reality that forced them from this, this lovely village uh, into uh, a camp for internally displaced persons. When we saw the military, we, milit Burmese military so soldiers, we were quite afraid because if you see and if you not escape, then you will be you know, torture or bitter. They burn the house and then they, uh, what, they kill the corn and buffalo. We always pray that uh, all the international community and other countries came to, if came to, uh, come to know that what is going on in the reality, they might help us. Companies like Chevron, Total, and ExxonMobil are eager to tap Burma's vast reserves of oil and natural gas. And the people they deal with in Burma is the Burmese military regime that has control of this very profitable sector of, of the economy. What would be a boom for big oil and gas will likely be disastrous for those living in the ethnic minority regions where these resources are concentrated. Sanctions are the only tool left to pressure the Burmese government. These days I'm coming across a, a lot of what I would call reckless optimism. A little bit of healthy skepticism I think is in order. The U.S. Congress right now has the tools to keep this healthy skepticism in place. But the legislation that allows them to keep that in place expires at the end of July. That's why the Congress must pass the Burmese Freedom and Democracy Act now. To keep the pressure on the generals of Burma so that we might have the leverage that we need to keep what progress we have seen moving forward and to protect the lives of those uh, in the crosshairs of the Burmese military.